Hey everybody, Matthew Larry here. Want to take a second to welcome you to Thursday's edition of our Faith for Life broadcast, where we're bringing you the message of faith approximately five minutes a day, five days a week. Now in today's broadcast, I want to give you three truths that I believe will help you experience God's full will for your finances. And the first one is this, that God is the source of our money. He is where our money comes from. In Genesis chapter 24, verse 35, it says, The Lord has blessed my master greatly, and he has become great in silver and in gold. So the silver and gold that Abraham had, the money that he had, came from the Lord. God supplied it. He was Abraham's source. Now in Hosea chapter 2, verse 8 in the Amplified Bible, it says that God lavished silver and gold upon his people. So the silver and gold they had, the money they had, came from the Lord. He supplied it. He was their source. And see, friend, the way that God is the source of your joy, the source of your peace, the source of your healing and your strength, He wants to be the source of your money. He wants to be your financial provider, and He wants to supply you with money and finances to live your life in this earth. Now, secondly... God's supply is inexhaustible. In Haggai chapter 2, verse 8, God said, The silver and the gold are mine. And then in Hosea chapter 2, verse 8, in the King James Bible, it says that God multiplied their silver and their gold. So God is not concerned about running out of money. He has more than enough to lavish finances and lavish money on all of His people. And you can see that just by looking at scriptures, and you can see that in looking at how God supplied money for his people. He gave Solomon so much silver and gold that it was as common as stones. So you see, God is not scared of running out of money. His supply is inexhaustible. He is not stingy. He is not concerned about somebody having too much. He has the ability to pour more than enough finances on everyone who will follow him. So secondly, God's supply is inexhaustible. And then thirdly, God's ability to get money into your hands is unlimited. You know, in Genesis chapter 26, it said that God made Isaac very, very rich in a time of famine. So you could call that a time of recession, maybe a depression. In that time, God got finances, God got wealth into Isaac's hands. Why? Because he's not limited in his ability to get wealth and to get money into your hands. You know, when Jesus and and Peter needed tax money, Jesus told Peter to go find it in a fish's mouth. You see, friend, God's not limited in his ability to get money to you. He fed Elijah with the ravens, the birds of the air were bringing Elijah, his provision. So God can get it to you. He's not limited in his ability to get money and to get resources and to get finances into your hand. And it's important that you know that if you're going to walk into his full will and plan for your finances. What does God need from us? He needs our faith and he needs our obedience. And if you'll trust God and be expectant and have faith in him and do what he says where your finances are concerned, he can pour it out on you in abundance in an overflowing portion so that you can be a great blessing to other people in the earth. God wants to increase you. He wants to prosper you, but you got to follow him. You got to trust him. You got to obey him. And if you do, I know that he will. As we're closing today's broadcast, friend, I want to remind you of these three things. Number one, God is the source of our money. Number two, his supply is inexhaustible. And number three, his ability to get finances and resources into our hands is unlimited. Let's pray. Father, Lord, we thank you today that you are the source of our money. Lord, we thank you that your supply is inexhaustible. And we thank you that your ability to increase us and to get resources into our hands is unlimited. So we make a decision today to trust you, to have faith in you, to obey you, to follow you. And Lord, we thank you that when we do, that you'll increase us and that we'll walk in your full will and plan for our finances. In Jesus' name, 
Amen. Friend, thank you so much for watching today's broadcast. Don't forget to come back tomorrow for Friday's edition of our Faith for Life broadcast. We'll see you then.